Capricorn. It's a oh my god, Tarot. How's it going, guys? Um, we're gonna do your October, mid October tarot card reading. Let's see what's going on with you. What well, comes up first? Ooh, the moon. We're going inward. Capricorn. You love how I just started, right? You like you like that. So your unconscious, sensitive inner emotions and responses. We'll, we'll, we'll hold on that because that's your inner world. That's how you feel on the inside. So some of you guys, I'm looking out for you. I'm looking out for you. I'm wondering if you guys are in your feels about what though? Let's keep, let's keep going. Let's see what themes come on up. All right, we got Pisces, right? And this energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate and forgiving. It confuses and softens result. Another inward inward type energy very yeah introverted you don't have to be introverted but you can be in your feels lately thinking about things worried about things concerned about things wondering about things pondering about things hmm we're getting closer because you know pisces they wear their heart on their sleeve so i'm wondering if you're feeling in your like emotional feels about romance existential dread dreams hopes all that all that feelsy stuff okay listen pisces rules it's the 12th house energy it's that mental health mm -mm, inner inner unconscious subconscious and then we got uranus surprise your potential for sudden change enlightenment and awakening good boom redemption right there so whatever it is capricorn because like i know that you guys some of you good with your feelings but whatever it is that is like weighing on you to the point where you're feeling like you're thinking about it, feeling about it, thinking about it, feeling on it, weighing heavy on you, you're in for an unexpected change, potentially a change that comes from within, which is so much more valuable than anything. Because maybe you change how you feel. Maybe you change how your perspective is and that unlocks the freedom of feeling okay. Feels like you're due for a sudden change enlightenment awakening so something good is about to go down or at least something surprising but let's see we're already on to something here capricorn usually it's about money money business with you but let's see all right so we start with the star in reverse that's interesting and then we have the magician followed by in reverse as well followed by the five of swords six of wands there you are and the Ten of Swords. Okay, we'll, we'll go in. We'll go in. Vroom. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't that was unnecessary. What it just that that noise. So your major arcana cards here, both of them are in reverse. This is the Star. This is the Magician. And so with the Star, we we kind of channel some of that Uranus energy, unexpected, you know, change. But more so, we channel the archetype of the card, hope. Aha moment, Eureka's, just like we thought we might get to. But I feel like with the star being in reverse, it's something that you're already onto. That there's something that you're probably on in the, on the search, on the quest for knowledge. There's probably something you're trying to figure out about yourself, or how you truly feel about something, or maybe something that validates your feelings happens unexpectedly, or you get a sign and something clicks and makes sense. But I feel like you're down the path. You're on that trajectory already, okay? And you're just hoping for the aha, aha, ha, ha moment. But you're, it's, it's there. It's like there right now, but you don't know it yet. You know? And then surprise, you know, now you know. And I feel like this magician card is, see, it's interesting because the magician card can speak to your communication style. So you reaching out to someone you talking to someone and having a good conversation, you feeling like you're understood and understanding, good flow in a conversation. And I feel like in, this is being in reverse, I feel like, especially, hey, stop that, that's weird. Cat's licking his booty hole right behind me. Is it audible? Did you hear the wet sounds? I don't know, but that's weird. Surprise. So the star and the magician, they give off, like, together, they give off, like, there's this hope for communication. And some of you, that's what you're wanting with someone. Maybe that's what you're in your fields with, about. Um, I think there's a little bit of, like, this, like, the magician is supposed to be a, uh, an, an archetype of manifesting things. 
things coming together and manifesting. Um, and it's in reverse. So I feel like there's something that you're trying to manifest, but you might be revert, like not manifesting it by wanting it so badly. So there's something like, maybe it's about letting go. Maybe it's about, um, yeah, doing the con using the calm app or something. Maybe it's like you need to release the tension, the stress, especially on things that are super important to you that you don't have control of. Um, and especially when it's your inner world, it's like how you feel about yourself, uh, how you just feel about things on the inside that you don't share, the mask, what's under it. And I think that you are reaching a point of enlightenment or awakening, but you're not realizing it yet. Like you're maybe still in the, you know, you got you got to do the reading and then you got to do the comprehension. And then after that, there's an exam and then you're good. And I feel like with this, I feel like you're, 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 maybe the absence of the knowledge or the intel that you're trying to learn about yourself or the sudden, the change that you want that you're like hoping for, I guess requires a lot of hope rather than execution, which you're used to just planning it, just planning it out. But I guess matters of the heart, I think that when I think Pisces and the moon, I think your how you feel about yourself, your unconscious, your inner emotions, what you deeply, deeply want. Like some of you guys are like, I want kids, but how can you, I want a perfect partner relationship, but I can't like calculate that into existence, you know? So I think that maybe if that's one of, if it's like a relationship thing, then you, maybe your enlightenment is in communicating with people, talking to people more, going out, meeting them, seeing them, you know, in, without a business sense. I gotta remind you guys that sometimes. Um, and I think that some of you guys are hoping for communication that is halted. You're hoping for some enlightenment, awakening. Maybe you're hoping for somebody to just be like, oh yeah, you were right. You were right. I was wrong. Hey, let's go. Because I feel like with the five of swords next to everything, I just, or in the middle, I feel like there were some losses. There were some cuts that had to be made. There were some, I have to give this a break because this is draining me. I have to, I don't want to do this, but I have to because my peace is being disturbed and I don't want to. So I, that could be like one of those, like, I'm going to take a step back from you rather than cut you off completely. It could be one where it's like, I'm very reluctant to do this. So, you know, when you realize something, when you have your aha moment, when you understand things, when you try to understand my side, when you try to communicate better because the communication is no good and it's causing us to have, have this like rift and it doesn't escape me that five of swords is a five and five is about unexpected change as well. Not a comfortable number. Um, so yeah, I guess mid month, I guess you guys are feeling it on the inside and you want to communicate with somebody you're hoping for some enlightenment. How do I communicate with them? How do I reach out? How can, can they get some enlightenment please and reach out and communicate? Cause that's what I would like. Cause why am I communicating with them when they're the ones who, you know, in your head a lot about it. And with the five of swords, I feel like either they had to cut their losses or you had to cut your, it feels more like you had to cut your losses from this person because it was a headache with them, but I feel like it ultimately turns into a good thing. Um, Six of Wands, you see victor victory, victorious. So I feel like what the outcome that you're hoping for, again, surprise, Five of Wands, you come out, <laughs> hey, whoa, ho. No, 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 you are not in this reading. Oh, I can't even put you down, because, okay, wait, wait, hold up. Wait, you, just go, just, just, nobody wants all of that. All right, what happened? Did we drop anything? I'm sorry about that. Um, and you were in reverse. So the Six of Wands is showing the victory. It's giving us victorious. But I feel like at what cost? At what cost? We have the Ten of Swords. So it feels like, you know, the completion, obviously, you know, up in, in, in more dramatic, in more dramatic uh, versions of the tarot, you know, the, you might know about them Ten Swords in the back. So something that's just been done to death. I feel like, so, it's almost giving the surprise of like somebody who you know you maybe you give another chance you forgive places is an, e is an easy forgive and if it's weighing on you it's like you want to forgive um comes back or tries to reach out but there the communication is not effective and it feels like a headache it feels like something that you know hmm, this isn't good but at the same time they came back so victorious but that victory you know, they didn't come correct they didn't, they aren't coming correct. And I feel like if they do come back and they seem correct, I feel like there's going to be a bump in the road that you're like, you know, you miss this person or you wanted things to work out so much that you just kind of overlook some things that just ultimately you're like going to realize 10 of swords that you're like, th this is it. Either I'm signed up for this, this 
component of your personality that, I, that gives me a headache or I'm quashing this because I realize what it is. Even though victory is victory, it's not quite what I had hoped for. And that's why there's a delay on manifestation because you think you want that. You think you want that forehead tattoo. You think you do, but just have get some food in you because you're really hungry and then you're like, oh, what was I thinking? But yeah, the Ten of Swords is going to give you a lot of that like feeling of completion as far as the difficulties. It's gonna. It's almost like you know when you have to like dive right. You, you, you break up and then you get back to you break up. You get back together. You you got to dive in a couple more times, and then that last time you're just like you know what, Ugh. done. You know maybe that's where you're at. Maybe you need something to be done to death, or you know maybe victory is something else, and and there's some stressors that just come along with that, right? But it's a feeling of completion. We see a lot of circles. We see a lot of like things ebbing and flowing so I guess the surprise is in the fact that things are moving at all maybe it's been the cold war for a while but you know it feels like that Pisces energy is just very like want to merge want to come together want to be kumbaya want to you know be happy and just goof but it's not really of substance when there's no foundation when like the real problems the real issues the underlying issues are still there but I think that maybe it's just kind of like I just want to be happy I just want to you know, I just want to forget about that other stuff that always goes left, and I just want to hang out, I just want to be, but like, and you might get that, but again, the other stuff, you know, you feel it. You feel them swords. You can pretend you don't, but you, you know, gets old. It sucks, you know? Sometimes when you, if it feels like an axe, and you're like, oh, I just want nothing, you just miss them so much, and you just want them to be back, but it's like, when they come back, you're like, oh yeah, that. <sighs> I remember that. I don't like that. Yeah. So, there it is. That's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you... Oh! If you did... Ugh, reading's over anyway. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Say hi to my kitty cat. And uh, check out my Etsy shop. Why not? There's uh, some stuff there. Get me some traction. Some, some traffic going to my shop. And like a few items while you're there. If you feel generous. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. And um, from my cat to yours, meow, meow.